we come together here today for the marriage of Jim and Elizabeth. Now, you two may I introduce myself completely. My name is Vic Marino, your minister today. It's absolutely my pleasure to preside over this ceremony for you two. Now, Jim, Elizabeth, this is the time that you are choosing to become husband and wife, and we all know it's a very memorable moment when your relationship grows into this bond. And I'm not only here to witness this, but to wish you two all the happiness in your future together. But I have two questions for you before I get started. Now, Jim, Elizabeth, have you both considered all of these obligations you will now assume when two lives are wed? Yes. Yes. Are you now ready to enter into this covenant of marriage? Yes. yes. Very nice. Would you guys scoot together, Jim? Hold her hand in yours, just like that. <laughs> now, Jim, Elizabeth, throughout the pages of time, we follow these hopes and dreams of the right of marriage. For marriage, it is one of the eldest of human traditions. It's the joining of two people and two hearts. Please never forget, after this day, you will be separated from all others. And we know it takes time to wed two people completely, even for the most well-matched. But also your marriage, it must be created, and it can only be created by both of you. We do know it requires honesty, communication, commitment, and that binds you to all of us. But also know this, a true wedlock is actually that long, long falling in love. And I know that love will come in so many different ways. But I do believe after those many years of you understanding each other and the wisdom you gain from that, you will be partners. You will be friends. You must respect each other, but above all, allow each other to be an individual. The individual that stands before you at this moment. And your true intentions not only reflect how you feel for each other on this day, but Jim, Elizabeth, your once separate life stories will now be joined into this new life story. Your families, your friends, they'll, they'll all be joined together with you here as well. And as you create that new life story, please know it's the one you're going to share with all of us, the story of Jim and Elizabeth from this day forward. Now, shall we have a small prayer, please? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we ask for blessings upon your children, Jim and Elizabeth. And as all of God's people, we clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And over all these virtues, you gave us love, which binds them all together in harmony. Please bless this marriage and give them a lifetime of true happiness. Amen. 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 Now, Jim, Elizabeth, marriage, we know it is that commitment in life that brings out the best in all of us, as I'm sure it will for both of you. And I know you care about each other more than yourself, that true giving part of all relationships. And what it does is it just creates the fullest life you two can share together. But... There's no written or spoken word that can express that enough. Only you two must experience it. And the rings. The rings are the symbols of your lives joined together here today. I like to say they're in the form of an unbroken circle because there's no beginning or no end. Always and forever. So may these rings remind you both of the vows you exchange here today and let them be that symbol to all you've made this commitment to each other. So Jim, we will start with you. Can you prepare the ring here for the grabbers? Yes. I'll hold your bouquet for you, Elizabeth. Okay. Present your left hand to him. Just hold her hand in yours for a moment, Jim, before you put the ring on. I want you to look into the eyes of your bride. Listen closely. Jim, do you take Elizabeth to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish now and always? Yes. Repeat after me, please. I give you, Elizabeth, this ring. I give you, Elizabeth, this ring. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my life. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to honor these vows. I promise to honor these vows. Taken here today. Taken here today. With all my heart. With all my heart. Very nice. Place the ring on your finger. Your left hand, sir. Elizabeth, just hold his hand in the same manner. Please look into the eyes of your groom. Listen closely. Elizabeth, do you take Jim to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish now and always? I do. Repeat after me, please. I give you, Jim, this ring. I give you, Jim, this ring. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I promise to honor these vows. I promise to honor these vows. Taken here today. Taken here today. With 
with all my heart. With all my heart. Okay, just place three. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jim, Elizabeth, I want you to take a moment for yourselves, but please know this. You will now and always stand in this charmed circle of life. And these words spoken here today, they're not just words. It does take a very brave soul to stand before another and make the commitment of marriage. But for both of you to know on this day, this moment, you are choosing your partner in life. And, and to go out there and share it all side by side, you know, those very good times and the very bad times, because that's when you need each other the most, you know, to help each other up through this wonderful story together. That's what true matrimony is, sharing it all together. And yes, there is that day that all of us chooses that someone who could bring wholeness into our lives. Well, Jim, Elizabeth, may I say it's my honor to be here on this day that you've chosen each other. Now you two, my few words of advice as I was just speaking about. We all know in every marriage, as in yours, you will share those many wonderful and unforgettable times. And you know, yeah, there will be difficult times. But I do believe this love and support and hope you're committing to on this day, it will get you through the troubled times. So if I can only ask you to, please listen very hard to each other and, and speak to each other. Please don't, don't hold that in. But do try your very best to never let anger speak for you. And I know when you leave here today, you are going to be much stronger people together to go and face those many more responsibilities you still have ahead of you in your marriage and your lives. So Jim, Elizabeth, my wish is that your lives do become all that you want them to be. May your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. Now, Jim, Elizabeth, you have committed here on this day to love each other by the joining of hands and the making of these promises. You've sealed these promises with the giving and receiving of the rings. Wear them proud. You know, for all those todays and tomorrows you're going to share with each other, now you must tell everyone. We are husband and wife. <laughs> and, say so those, <laughs> and say those words from your heart always and always. <laughs> Therefore, it is my privilege, by the power vested in me, by the state of Nevada, but absolutely my pleasure now pronounce you husband and wife. Jim, Elizabeth, please have a kiss. <laughs> I love you.